Hey, what's going on guys? Rob from ClicksGeek.com. In today's video, we're going to go through all of your location targeting options and how each of them works and how to set them up. Really simple stuff, um, just some confusion around it with certain people that don't really understand how it works. So I'm going to kind of walk you through, take you by the hand and walk you through it. Um, number one thing, before we get started, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We drop Google Ads trainings every day. Like and share this video, please, as well. If you are a business owner who wants us to run Google Ads for your business for lead generation, there is a link in the description where you can apply to work with us. If you are a marketer who just wants to learn more about Google Ads, there's also links for courses and lots of free trainings and stuff in the um, links in the description as well. So you guys can check that out. So with that said, let's get right into it. We're in our demo campaign, which is Party Bus Rental from one of our demo Google Ads accounts. And you can see here uh, Party Bus in San Diego. So we're looking at the ad group level of a campaign, right? So we're inside of a Google Ads campaign or at the ad group level. So the first thing you're gonna to do to mess around with the locations is come down to locations or you can do it in settings. For now, let's just do locations, it's easier. So you have two locations here. You have your, your main locations to target and you have locations to exclude. Now, if you don't know what excluded locations means, search my channel for excluded locations and we have a dozen videos on how to exclude locations. And you can see here the ones in red are exclusions and just briefly what that means is we're telling Google we do not want our ads to be displayed under any circumstance in these locations, right? But for this video, um, you can see our target locations. We're under locations. We're doing San Diego and San Diego County. Now, how you add locations is very simple. You'll click the uh, blue little pen edit icon here. You have a few options. You can add locations in bulk. So the best way to do this is to list out if it's a state you're going after. It'd be like Washington State. It would, it would, it would be like this. Right? That's kind of the best way. You, I always do the United States just because sometimes Google will automatically pull. If you do big bulk uploads where you have like 100 or more locations, it's easier if it says the United States because sometimes they'll pull random things. So you always have to check the pro tip. Always check. If you're, doing, if you're adding locations in bulk, always check your locations. They'll, they'll be down here when you add them and make sure they're all correct. So that's one way to do it is to add locations in bulk. Um, we don't really do too much of that, but... And we have in the past, some people want that. Normally, we just add them like this, one at a time, depending on how many you have. It can be kind of time consuming, but so if this guy's, uh, let's say we're going after Anaheim. So Anaheim, California, we would just hit target and it adds it to our list and now we're targeting Anaheim. So pretty cool, right? So that's one way to do it. You're just gonna keep adding your target locations and then just hit save and they're all added to the campaign. So I'll remove that for now. The next way to do it is radius, which is pretty cool. So you can do an address or a city and, it, and target a radius around it. So let's do San Diego, California city. You can see here we got a nice 20 mile radius right here. We could even go more, 50 around San Diego. Look at that. So you can you can really get start getting interesting. However, keep in mind, like this guy, San Diego is running the border of Mexico. Now you're targeting in Mexico. <laughs> so that's why you want to exclude, have heavy, heavy exclusions, right? Excluded areas. So we would just negative out. We would exclude Mexico from targeting so our ads don't show, obviously, in Tijuana because that is not helpful to our client. But that's pretty much it. And um, you can do as big as location as you want. Normally, people do 20, 30, 40, or 50 miles. It depends on your service area of what you're trying to target. But those are the two main ways to add um, locations to your Google Ads campaign. Really simple, guys. Um, just play around with it in your campaign, and you'll see in, within three minutes you'll be an expert at it. Um, best advice I can give you is to exclude locations around your target areas. So if this was a campaign I was actually going to run, I'd be excluding Palm Springs, Anaheim, Irvine. Los Angeles, Long Beach, San Bernardino, Riverside, I, I'd get rid of all of this stuff in exclusions just because Google is not perfect at keeping the leads within your target location, especially when you're running a radius targeting. You will get calls and leads outside of your um, target location unless you have exclusions, and that's why it's important. So hopefully this video was helpful and answered a few questions. If you have any questions, um, drop them below in the comments section. If you want us to run Google Ads for your company, you can apply to work with us in the description. There should be a link below. If you want to learn more about Google Ads and 
all kinds of different trainings and stuff like that. We have courses in the links in the description below, and also we have um, we have a free course too you can take that um, kind of launches you from the basic to a little bit more advanced Google Ads marketer. So you guys can check that out. And as always, like I like I always say, don't forget to please share, subscribe, and like this video. All right, guys, I'll catch you later.